Hello, Kerbal Space Program fans. Uh, this is La Cucaracha, Space Roach Industries, and this is our first product we've published on Steam. This is the Delta Flyer. It's a single stage SSTO uh, capable of getting to orbit and capable of returning in one piece. So, a few changes from what's on the Steam Workshop. I'm going to take this out and then put the nose codes back on. Let's see here. There we go. Oh. There we go. Okay, with that, I think we're ready to fly. Let's go ahead and launch. even with the yellow nav ball while keeping an eye on our vertical speed up here. Alright, we're in the upper part of the atmosphere now. You're starting to see the uh, surface speed uh, increase. Now the one thing you want to keep an eye on is this yellow ball here. If it starts getting uh, near the horizon, you're definitely going to want to nose up because uh, that means your vertical speed is going to drop. As long as it's at or uh, above the horizon line, you're, you're in good shape. Of course, I designed this thing uh, all stock in career mode, um, and I, I don't really play creative that much, if at all. Alright, so we're starting to nose up naturally here. Want to make sure our, vertical, or our surface speed is still increasing. That's okay to let it nose up because you want to keep this little yellow nav ball just slightly above the uh, horizon line there. Yeah, 
Yeah, so the nerve engines, they really interested me when I saw them on the skill tree. I, I had seen some uh, things online saying how efficient they were in space, and seeing that they required no uh, oxidizer, I thought it'd be nice to make an S STO that just uses fuel. So after, you know, how Kerbal goes, you have some failed attempts, some good attempts, and uh, yeah, after a few attempts, I figured out this design, and it worked, and I was pretty happy. So you can see both our surface speed and our uh, vertical speed is still... Um, Vertical speed is staying fairly constant. Our uh, surface speed is increasing, ever still. Really kind of neat. It reminds me of the opposite of a shuttle landing. So now if we want to... Now that we're about this part of the atmosphere here, uh, we start nosing down a little bit. Um, we shouldn't lose too much vertical. So we're just going to gently nose her down just a little more. There we go. Keep an eye on my vertical speed. But this is going to increase our surface speed if we nose down, so... Our little yellow nav ball is about even with the horizon line. Our vertical speed is uh, 10 meters. Looks like it's starting to drop ever so slightly, so I'm going to nose back up. Just try and keep it right at 25 or so. Okay, and that should be good for now. So we're going to switch over to map mode and uh, see what's going on with our orbit. Oh, nothing to write home about yet. But as long as um, we're not losing vertical speed, you can see here we've uh, naturally nose is raised to 30 degrees inclination, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it back down to 25. And now look at the plumes on the uh, nerve engines. You can see they're nice and long, they're just like the uh, Panther engines. As long as the Apostas point stays in front of us, we're in good shape. In fact, I can just fly this way if I really wanted to. Goes down just a little bit. Keep it at 25. So once we pass 60,000 meters, that means we're pretty much out of the atmosphere. we still got a ways to go. We're going to trade off some of this vertical speed for some uh, horizontal speed here. I'm going to try and trade off a lot of it if I can. Bring this all the way down to about 15 or so.
transition to horizontal flight. Our orbit speed is getting faster and faster. Once we hit about 24, we should be in orbit. Should have a completely circularized orbit. And we can see it's starting to circularize now, so we're going to go ahead and drop the nose a bit. There we go. Drop the nose, and we're just going to go ahead and select prograde here. So we can see our periapsis is starting to um, come on out. So we're going to let the periapsis drop to about a little bit past this. Uh, there we go. So you can see our periapsis, we're actually overshooting the uh, Kerbal Space Center just a little bit. And I'm going to turn on stability assist here and nose down. What we want to try and do is... Uh, I don't think I need to do much more than that. So our Appalachia should be about 100k, and it is slowly coming down. Uh, this should also be reducing our periapsis. So we we. We do have plenty of fuel to spare. Uh, we can get pretty far out there, definitely out to this orbit here if we wanted to refuel. Um, yeah. But at this point though, you're gonna wanna make sure that things are set up for landing. So first thing you wanna do is transfer all the fuel into the foremost uh, fuselage. This way, this way, uh, most of your weight is forward. So we're going to do that right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start transferring. You can also toggle the brake action group, just get these things ready. Uh, the other thing you're going to want to do is deactivate your nerve engines. So shut these guys down. And then you're also going to want to change these, toggle their mode from wet to dry. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and... I'm going to keep these open just for now because... Alright, so let's close this one out since he's full. Now we're going to transfer everything into this one. See, we got plenty of fuel left for uh, flying back to KSP once we get to that point. And none of the no fuel left anywhere else in the uh, plane because these are just structural fuselages here okay so let's close all these windows out so we don't have to look at so much we're going to switch to prograde and now we're going to be ready to start uh, making our flight back to KSP we're going to go ahead and warp Warp right about here. Oh, 
I'm going to go ahead and kill the time warp just to make sure that we are still pointed in prograde. And we are horizon aligned. Now, one nice thing about this uh, being so dead on is we should line up directly with the drive or with the runway. Okay, let's continue warping. And now we are hitting atmosphere. So with our air brakes out, that should uh, slow us down just enough to um, just enough to where we don't burn up our our uh, cockpit here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my throttle to full because once the Panthers have uh, once the Panthers. Um, are low enough the atmosphere to restart. We want them to restart because uh, we're going to want to maintain our speed. Let's see, how far are we from periaps this point? Okay. So I want to go ahead and just do some time warp here manually. You can see the cockpit is starting to heat up. Hey babe, leave a slice out for me. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, my wife's wrapping up pizza. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some pizza after this. That's gonna be my reward for coming back, bringing Jebediah back in one piece. Okay, so now um, you're seeing our periapsis change, and with all the air brakes out. We're going to go ahead and start nosing in a bit. Don't worry if you wobble a little bit, that's fine. I'm guessing I'm out of electric charge. Yeah. That's okay. I probably should add some batteries to this thing. Um, just so my reaction wheels are still working. Alright, checking our uh, checking our periapsis. Looks like we're gonna be just shy of the uh, continent for the uh, for our base here. See, a lot of things are getting hot, but. As long as that bar doesn't go all the way over to the right, we're in good shape. And I'm going to switch from sea level to ground level. Now that we're this slow, I should be able to toggle these off. I want to save some of this forward speed for uh, just to make sure we make it to um, Kerbal Space Center. Let's switch over to Stability Assist. off. There we go. I'm going to use 
some of this momentum to try and generate some lift here. We are still very high up in the air. But our Panthers should be kicking on any minute now. slightly better re-entry would be right on top of the have to do all the search for one, but it's okay. We're gonna drop our speed just enough so that we're uh, no. There we go, right about there. Once we get over this uh, pass here, we should be to the Kerber Space Center Valley.
you see, we still had plenty of fuel for making it back, even if we were almost a full continent shy of where we were supposed to be. That's what I'm saying. I really like this design. We're still losing altitude. We're still warm. Lower the gear right now since we're on approach. Should help reduce our airspeed. One little plateau above KSV, and then after that it drops right, right back down. Just like when we're going up, we want to keep uh, this nap ball here uh, slightly right by the horizon, slightly below. We also want to keep an eye. brakes. Of course we're going to lose a couple of those air brakes on braking. And do a little, a little power slide there. That's it. As you can see she comes in pretty nice. Uh, pretty easy to control. I hope uh, everybody enjoys uh, Space Roaches Industries uh, first forte on the Seymour Shop. Thank you.